Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a fun video for you guys today. I have been waiting for this collection uh, ever since it was a sneak peek. And I was just like, well, what is it going to look like? And we finally got some pictures and then the collection arrived. I am talking about the Colored Rain Times Power collection. So I have it here. I picked up three items of the collection there's so much of the collection that um actually came out they have a magnetic uh, 96 pan uh, z palette that came out they have about four or five um glitter toppers four blush duels with a uh, highlighter and blush the eyeshadow palette of course they have gift cards you can pick up about two lipsticks a lip gloss um two liquid lipsticks also so it's just so much going on with this collection so if you guys do not know power is a show it comes on stars network it actually the first episode came on today or hit at 12 o'clock um midnight today is august 20 august 25th yes august 25th today <laughs> couldn't think about what, what it is today so today is august 25th so if you watch power it's out you're able to watch it basically anytime it downloads so that's good and it is so it's available all the time at midnight which is cool so you can watch it whenever you want you don't have to just like sit there and wait for nine o'clock to come um there's apps streaming everything so power is a show basically created by curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Y'all know 50 Cent, okay? Get the strap. Give me my money. I, I don't have any money to pay you, 50 Cent. Don't be coming for me looking for money. Come tomorrow. I don't have it, okay? Thanks. <laughs> so, you guys watching 50 Cent on uh, social media, you know what I'm talking about when I say that. But the collection is here, and Power is basically a show. It's about the drug game. Yeah, it's about the drug game. So, um... You know they're high level drug dealers and it's basically like that push and pull for the power so basically the collection is here and the packaging is so good it, is, it definitely has that velveteen uh cardboard this is the sleeve this right here is the eyeshadow palette the eyeshadow palette retails for 29 dollars. and honestly when i looked at this eyeshadow palette it was like everything i expected it to be and wanted it to be um i don't even know anything else that i could want it to be basically at this point just trying to get out the sleeve so this is the sleeve that it comes in and then this is the palette and it's the same uh design on the front super pretty okay you got these black roses in the background you have colored rain times powder power colored rain times power and then on the back you have a sticker talking about all the ingredients of the eyeshadow once you open the eyeshadow palette is good for 12 months the palette is cruelty free um in conjunction with power tv and stars with colored rain and this palette actually has 12.5 grams of product so each shadow is 0.44 ounces and it's a nine pan palette okay so let me open it for you guys it's so pretty uh, once you open it you have this little plastic sleeve of course that we're used to seeing in all the palettes then you have this beautiful mirror right here. I'm getting blinded. The background is gold metallic, and these are the beautiful nine shades. Like, let me hold it like this so everybody can see it. It is so pretty. And I love Color Rain. Like, their formula to me is like, like top notch. It is one of my favorite brands. Their formula is always consistent. They do not come to play. So I am so so excited to get into this palette so you know we're going to swatch everything i also picked up this lip gloss and it's called distro and i love the name because um back in maybe the first season or the second season of power if you guys have been watching it was like who's that that's distro that's distro it's like somebody was trying to figure out who somebody is distro being short for distribution because they were the distributors like i said they were high level they, they weren't people on the street they were high level Oh, the packaging is so cute of the lip gloss. Okay, I haven't opened the lip gloss. This is the gloss packaging. This is called Distro. It's only one gloss. And so on the top, we have the same thing with the roses. And it says Color Rain Times Power. Oh, my gosh. And I'm going to swatch this real quick. And then, of course, we'll go into the swatches of the shadow palette. So this is the gloss. And you have a doe foot applicator. 
oh my gosh, that is just so pretty. Mm, it's like a, it's definitely a duo chrome type of shade. It definitely has pink, purple, gold in there. It is so pretty. I know like some people thought it was gold gloss, so it led them not to pick it up, but it's a pinky purple. I was able to find some swatches of like the lip collections right before this palette went live. The palette and the cold collection is available now and it came out last, this past Wednesday. So I actually got it really, really fast. The shipping was like on point, not to mention with the uh, shipping, they shipped out like the next day. It was amazing. And then this is the blush duo set that I got. Now they have four of these, so that's super great. So they had like two options basically for light to medium skin tones. And then they had two for deeper. So this is, I got the set that's called Call of Shots. Packaging is true to form as a collection. And then you open it up and it has a little mirror also. And this is the duo. And I got this duo because I was like, oh, this is cute, okay? So that's the duo right there. You got a mirror. On the back, you have the ingredients on a gold sticker, just like an eyeshadow palette. Um, this is actually uh, 9 grams of product. And I didn't mention before, but the products are made in the United States of America, okay? So let's go ahead and demo this. So this, like I said, is called Call the Shots. The Blush Duos retail for $25, okay? Now, I might not have mentioned it. There actually was a chance to save 15% on this collection when you got to the website. So I was able to save 15%. It just sent a code to my phone after I logged it on to the website. And that was the day of launch. So that, oh my gosh, that is the highlighter right there. That's the highlighter portion for the Call of Shots palette. And then here is the Blush Duo. Oh, that is pretty. And it's so smooth. So I've never, I the only product, cheap product that I've actually had by Color Rain was in the Cheers to Beauty palette. They had a highlighter in there and I do actually enjoy that highlighter. So I definitely wanted to try out like a standalone um, cheap product by Colored Rain. And then of course, Colored Rain is definitely known for their liquid lipstick. So I don't think you can go wrong with it. I didn't get the red shade because... I have so many reds in my collection. I'm like, I just don't feel like it's a purpose for it, but it was definitely beautiful, okay? And then they had the bullet lipsticks, and I was like, those colors are beautiful, but I have so many purples and deep plums in my collection, so I didn't get it. So let's go ahead and swatch the palette, and then I think we're doing three looks. We're going to do three looks. So... I said that in the last video, but I only gave y'all two. We're gonna get we're gonna do three looks today, okay? So let's get rolling. Okay, so let's get ahead with the swatches. If you hear noise outside, I'm sorry. Hopefully, when I edit the video, you guys will not hear this. But there's a church right next door to me, and they're having a service outside. So you can hear the microphones, and it's not like the service is on that end of it is like directly across from the house but let's go ahead because this show has to go on okay so like i said once again here is the palette it is beautiful let's go ahead and get to swatching here is the shade called truth oh my gosh i mean and this is a metallic shade it's like a blurple it is so smooth so creamy the next shade we have is legacy which is, oh, that is really pretty. It's a dual chrome shade. Okay, I pulled you guys in a little closer. I felt like you couldn't really see the swatches. The next shade we have is called Respect. That is Respect. That is a beautiful purple blue shift shade. And the next shade we have is Snitch, which is actually one of the matte shades. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Then we have Revenge, which is another shimmer, and it's a dual chrome gold purple shade. Oh my gosh. These colors are so pretty. Like, I just can't even take it. The next shade we have is Deception, which is a beautiful plum matte. 
I'm gonna build that one up again. And these mats are so smooth. It's beautiful. Okay, the next shade we have is Alibi. And this is like a darkened berry color. Oh my gosh. These shades are so smooth. <laughs> like, I don't expect anything less, but it's just like, oh, this color is just so pretty. The next shade we have is Betrayal. It's a beautiful raspberry matte. And then we have Testify, which is also a matte shade. The deck that is a dark burgundy purple color. This one has more purple in it than the other shade, Snitch. And that was Snitch. So these are the swatches. I'm going to pull in closer so you can see it. Let's go ahead and get this look started. I have my eyelids primed with a little bit of Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. I am going to go in, I'm gonna start like kind of like a simple look. And I was just looking at the palette and I was like, oh shoot, there's a look right there. So if you're not even sure what to do with the palette, we can literally go boop. There is a look right there. So I'm going to go in with my brush taking my Wayne number 16 brush right here. I am going to go in with the shade Deception and I'm just gonna take that in the crease. I'm gonna start kind of light because colored rain comes to play. It can be very pigmented. So I'm just gonna go back and forth, windshield wiper motions in the crease, kind of taking a lighter hand up at the top There we go, blending that out. And I will go back. I didn't really dip into the palette a whole lot because like I said, these mattes can be so pigmented and I didn't want to be so dark at the brow bone. I just kind of wanted to fade in. I'm going to go back in just one more time. Now start building up more color. And I'm going to bring that all the way in. And I'm just kind of fusing that out. Like you can see where I put my brush down because you know when you put your brush down, you're gonna have the most pigment. This color is so pretty. This is the color deception again. And now I'm just building that up. Get some intensity. Ooh. Going back and forth, still blending out using my windshield wiper motions. And this is actually one of the lightest matte shades in the palette. And look how smooth these mattes are. Mm, that is pretty. So that's what we're looking like so far. I'm going to go in one more time. Because I just keep, I don't really add a lot to my brush when I'm dipping in. But y'all know i like my creases to be prop popping but i don't want to have too much going on sometimes too quickly changing brush going in with a sonya g and this is a worker pro i'm going to go in with the shade testify which is right here and don't worry my brushes have been wiped off y'all but these brushes they're natural hair brushes and you know the color it just kind of stains the brushes so and I'm just patting that on the outer V. So pretty. And I'm just kind of bringing it up to the crease, kind of fusing it in with that first color. That first color was Deception again. And then I'm just going to pat a little bit more right there where I want the color to be. Kind of fuse it out on the eyelid. And I'm just going to place a little bit more right there. So now the outer V is deep. And in with a Sonya G Crease Pro, I'm going to just fuse that shade very so lightly in with Deception. I'm not going to bring it over because I don't want that part to be deep, but I just want to keep it right in there. But I need to blend out those edges. I'm like taking it probably as far as here. I'm not going to drag it all the way in there. 
That is a smoky color. It is so pretty. I love purples to kind of like bring out this, you know, smokiness and palettes. You know, I just get tired of blacks and browns. Like, I mean, they have their use, but you know, sometimes you're just like, I need something else. And purple just always looks good on so many skin complexions. Okay, now I got my little tart brush and I'm going to pick up the shade Reese which is right here and it's definitely a duochrome shifting shade purple with some blue in there I'm excited to use this I'm just gonna pick it up and I'm gonna kind of tap off some of the excess Ooh, that is so pretty And this isn't dry, so you can see a lot of the flex in it just dry. I am gonna wet it in a second, but I just kinda wanna put a little bit more on. Uh, I went in with the same brush, just wet my brush with the Urban Decay uh, All Night Setting Spray. Oh, and it just makes it even more foiled, and you definitely get those blue specks of glitter. So pretty. Okay. And we are really done. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the other eye. Now I think I'm gonna go in with my little pencil brush. This is the Sonya G pencil brush and I'm gonna take just a little bit of Legacy right here. And I'm just gonna do a little dollop in the inner corner. Oh yeah, and it just kind of turns it pinky, real pinky. That's really pretty in the inner corner. Although this is not really like, you'll definitely see the contrast with the deeper shades when, when using Legacy versus the shade uh, Respect, but they blend so pretty into each other. Okay, I am back. I did my foundation. I'm wearing a Fenty uh, Hydrating Foundation, shade 385. Added my lashes, added some liner. So I want to demo the cheek products. And But before we do that, I'm going to pick up this is actually a flat uh, eyeshadow brush by Colored Rain. And I'm going to go in with the shade called Truth because I just feel like this will really, this blurple is really just gonna like set the look off. And I'm just gonna go in uh, basically on the corner of the brush. And I'm going to wet it just a little bit. I don't think we need to for it to pop up, but I don't wanna have like the fallout. Going in All Night Earth setting spray, just wetting that brush. And I'm going to put this on the bottom lash line. I'm using the, um, my lashes are Ritzy by Kiss. So I'm just gonna run this right underneath the lash line. Oh yeah, that is pretty. It would kind of help if I took like the plastic off of my mirror, but you know, whatever. Okay, that just really made it pop. That is so pretty. And that's the shade Truth. Going back in so I can do this side real quick. Now, going in with the Call the Shots palette, I am taking a Christian Seriano blush brush and I'm just going to go ahead and pop in, tap off the excess and hit up the, oh, I, yep. I'm so here for this collection. This collection has made me just so happy. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That is pretty. Now just picking up my other Christmas Siriana brush. I love, oh, that was brush for highlighter. It's like a secret little gem. Like sometimes you don't need fancy brushes. Like, you know. This, oh my gosh. Yes, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That highlight, oh. once again, it's called the shots. Now to finish up the look, going in with Urban Decay's Pandemonium Lip Liner. I'm just gonna line my lips real quick, rub that in. I don't want it to be like super out. And then now I'm just gonna go in with some gloss. This is Distro. Oh man. Yeah. 
Come in, love. Okay. So this collection is limited edition, I think. Yeah, I need a second gloss. I need a backup. Mm -hmm. This is the final look. So I just pulled out so you can kind of see everything together. This look is gorgeous. I mean, this shadow is, I'm so here for it, okay? That shade, oh no, I got a little bit of legacy into my palette. Okay, a little truth into legacy. But this respect shade is beautiful. This is like one of the most beautiful duochrome pink lavender blue shades I have seen in my collection. I have like maybe one or two, but this is gorgeous. And with those two mattes, mattes and deception, look how easy that look was. It was right there. And then with a little bit of truth, it just really made it pop. So I am here for this. So I'm going to keep the rest of my face intact. We're going to keep the same gloss on. We're going to go in with look number Okay, I'm back. Eyelids are reprying with that Too Faced concealer. Let's go for look two. I am going to start with I'm going I'm going to start with my Wayne number sixteen brush again. Going in with Deception because it is truthfully the lightest matte, and I just want to stick all to this palette. Just gonna blend this in the transition area just to give us a little bit. Of color up there I'm not even gonna do a lot with this shade I'm literally just gonna keep it right here to have something for the other matte shades I want to go in to blend into okay and I'm just gonna blend it out right there just I'm not bringing it all the way down I'm keeping it right in here just literally at the top to kind of cover up that concealer okay so I am done with that shade now wiping off that same number 16 brush I am going to go in with the shade called snitch right here I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna tap off the excess and I'm gonna put this in my crease I'm not going to take it into here I'm just gonna kind of focus it on this half of the eye and the product is more on the tip of the brush and I'm just lightly going back and forth this color is so pretty I'm just gonna pat it because I do know I want to kind of fill it in so just to save time this is like a good trip trick if you don't want to like spend time adding it up adding it up just pat it down okay now I'll fix the blending up there in a moment this is brush is really big so I just kind of like lay down a lot of color at once I'm doing the same thing right there now, because I know I want the color more concentrated, I'm going to go in with my Sonya G Worker Pro and I'm going to pick up the same shade. Tap off the excess and now just pack it on the lid. Yep. Ooh, this is so rich. It doesn't make any type of sense. And I'm just going to kind of bring that to a little bit of a point. And I'm just going to bring it in there. Smooth it out where it's a little patchy. What's kind of good about this brush, you can kind of blend a little bit with it too. I'm just gonna fuse out my edges right in there. Wow, this is so nice. You know, it's hard to keep these tones when a color is so dark and so rich in nature. And that's what I just love about Colored Rain. Like they just, they, they don't come to play. Going in with my Sonya G, this is a Builder Pro brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Revenge because when I swatched this, I was like, yes, these two shades next to each other. I was like, that's going to look so pretty. Just going to tap off the excess of it so we don't get a lot of fallout since I do have. <laughs> well, <laughs> y'all see, that was a first for real. Oh my God. Not even wet. Oh my God gosh oh yes already one of my favorite shades of all time <laughs> oh 
It's so smooth. It's so pretty. Oh my God, this is literally a shade I could just put on my lid and go. Okay, excuse my eye over here. It's trying to betray me. Oh, that's kind of fitting with the palette, huh? Betrayal. But this shade, Revenge, ain't betraying me at all. And I'm just kind of like lightly fusing that in out there. I'm not going to bring it out. I'm just lightly making sure it's... So I just want to see what it looks like wet. So you guys can also see. It's Urban Decay Primer. Why do I say Primer Potion? <laughs> Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. The, the Primer Potion is their uh, eyeshadow primer. Oh, yeah. It adds a little bit more shine, but I mean, the shade is so stunning on its own. It's like, you don't need to. Okay, I'm back. This is look two. This, first of all, that shadow revenge. Oh, it is like one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I love this shadow. And Snitch is beautiful also. And it just really held its color. So this is look two. Added on those ritzy lashes again. Still have my uh, highlighter and my uh, lips intact from the first look. So I think this look is beautiful. It was so simple to do. The colors just fused together effortlessly. So I'm in love. This is, mm, this is good. Okay, this is really good. This, ooh, this palette is winning right now. Okay, so we got one more look to do. We're gonna go and look. Okay, let's get into look three. Eyelids are primed again with the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. Yeah, way number 16 again, going in with that light layer of deception. I'm just blending this across the top as our first transition shade. So the other shades will have something to blend into. Now going in with the uh, Sonya G crease brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Betrayal, this beautiful raspberry shade. And I'm, first, I'm just going to kind of press it in in that crease where we want it, and then we will blend it out. I'm just going back and forth, windshield wiper motions, smoothing out that edge, but kind of keeping what we packed on just right there, not really touching that too much. And then blending it down into that inner corner. Just making sure everything is really smooth. Just going back. I'm using really light strokes. Oh, this color is just so pigmented. And see, that's why I put down that shade uh, Deception. Just to help that blend so we don't have like, oh, a block of color. Now I just wipe that same little crease brush off. I'm going to go in with just a tiny bit of Testify in the crease. And then I'm going to bring it down a little bit lower. Just to give us a little bit more depth. And I'm just really kind of focusing it right in the crease. I'm just using the edge of the brush to do that. Oh, these mattes, they layer well. Sometimes you don't know. And I'm bringing that in the inner corner also, but I'm keeping it tight, like I said, just right there in the main crease by keeping it on the side, okay? Now I'm going to kind of bring it in just a little bit on that side, and I'm leaving that main color out, which was Betrayal. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of pat a little bit right here on the last part of the eyelid. And with my Sonya G Builder Pro, I'm going to take the shade Alibi. And I'm going to tap off any excess so we don't get any fallout. And now I'm just going to pack this on the lid. So we have a beautiful smoky eye. And we have just a tiny bit of fallout. 
even though I tapped it off because there are a few glitter particles in this palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to wet it, even though I don't feel like we need to with that Urban Decay All Night or Setting Spray. Ooh, but that just made it so pretty. It really makes that glitter pop. I'm not gonna bring it in right here. I'm gonna leave that area bare. I'm just gonna kind of bring it up though, just a little bit to meet the other colors in the crease. It spreads out so nice. It literally makes no sense how well these shadows are performing. I mean, not, I really didn't expect anything less, but like, you know, purples can be hard to formulate. And I ain't seen a dud yet. <laughs> so that's really about it to this look, guys. Now, going in with my Sonya G pencil brush, I'm going to take the shade Legacy, our dual chrome shifting shade right there. And I'm going to dab that right there in the inner corner that's why i wanted to leave it blank so we can really see and then i'm going to kind of just feather it in lightly i'm not going to try to take it up like how i usually do i just want to keep it right there just going in with a little bit more the shade is stunning Okay, I'm back. I know I said three looks, but I just want to do one more look for you guys. And I don't think that's going to be a problem. <laughs> I don't think y'all found that a problem. So I, I just want to use this one last shade, this like uh, the Blurple shade, uh, Truth. And I want it to be like the star of the show. You know, it is just so pretty. You can't deny it. Once again, Wayne number 16 going in with a little bit of deception just to help our blending. Just light transition shade because I just, like I said, I want to just stick only to the palette. Only to the palette, just putting it up there. This is our lightest shade. And this shade is actually really quite gorgeous. It blends in so well and it works with all the other shades. Okay, so now I want to go in with, I'm going to go in with Betrayal. Do I want to do that? Yeah. Or do I want to do... Mm. Mm. Okay, let's do a little bit more deception. Let's do a little bit more deception. Yeah. There we go. We're going to build it up a little bit more. Yeah. Blend out that harsh line I created right there. With my crease brush going in with a little bit of Betrayal, this shade is... All the shades are gorgeous. I just haven't met a palette where... I mean, I have like one or two other palettes where I just feel like everything is just so beautiful, but it's just so hard sometimes. Okay, I'm just focusing Betrayal right in the crease. There we go. On my Sonya G Builder Pro going in with Alibi, and I'm gonna put this in the outer V on my lid. And I'm just gonna smooth that out and kind of bring it up into the crease a little bit. And I'm not using too much of the shade. Shade is just so creamy and it blends out well. So you don't have to worry about it going in the crease. I have thoroughly wiped off my Blender Pro brush, okay? And my towel going in with this beautiful shade called Truth. And I'm just gonna tap off the excess and now I'm gonna fill it in. I'm gonna leave this little part blank. Oh, the shade is so pretty. And it's so hard to get shades like this to perform, like or to look good outside of the pan. And those two, that Blurple, with well, the Truth and the Alibi, they merge so well together. And I'm just gonna bring that up so they meet in that crease. Ooh, 
So yeah, I have a tiny bit of fallout, but not much. Okay, now I have to know how legacy and truth go in to each other. Like I just have to know. So I'm wiping off my brush, that same brush really well. Okay, now I'm picking up legacy, same brush. And I'm just gonna merge it in also. Shade is so pretty. Like, it just gives like a lightness to the eye because this palette is so dark and, you know, mysterious, but oh my gosh. In the way that just layers over with ease. Mm, well, that is basically it. Let me just straighten up my blending. Going in with the uh, Crease Pro, just going to fuse that out. Make sure we're good there. No additional product. I'm going to do the other eye and we're going to wrap up with some final thoughts. Okay, so this is the final look pulled out. I, you know what? I don't tell people that they need something, or at least I don't tell y'all that y'all need to pick up something, but you need to get this palette. I am heads over heels in love with this palette. It has lived up to every expectation I've had. You see right here, we have done four looks. Every shade was like a hit. I didn't have any problems creating any looks. Every shade was pigmented. It just really lasted. I, You don't even have to wet the shades if you don't want to. These shades are so easy to work with. Purples are usually not easy to work with guys you guys know that especially purple mattes I just love the arrangement of this palette I think it's beautiful they did a great job with this palette I mean you can just get so many more looks I can just think of like four or five more looks I can get with this palette this shade revenge is beautiful and it gives like a nice option other than like having a purple lid shade legacy is a beautiful color and it just complements like all the shades that's in here these mattes, it was like the greatest choice of mattes because they all have like a purpose in this palette and are very distinct. Deception, as you saw, every time, every look gives us a little bit of something to blend into. You could blend it out where it's not as dark if you don't want a super deep dark look or you can like really pack it on and pack the punch. Snitch was a beautiful, just straight out burgundy color. Like these mattes never lost their tone you can layer them they didn't have an issue betrayal beautiful raspberry shade like stuff does not stay raspberry like that like you know like they just always are selling us dreams in a palette and when you put them on your eyes they do not perform that way but every shade literally performed how it was supposed to testify deeper burgundy palette uh deeper burgundy uh, shade that's matte, but with more purple versus snitch, which was like a brighter, okay? Um, a brighter burgundy. But this shade right here, the blue reflex were amazing in respect. I mean, it just had so much opulence when you put it on your eye. And then it blended in with Legacy. It was just so pretty. And then Legacy and Truth together, like how I have it now, is beautiful. You definitely see the blue base, the blue shift in the blurple shade right here, Truth. But it's still very bright and purple. Those shades are hard to create. Like I said, Revenge is just beautiful, coppery, fiery pink with flecks of gold and flecks of purple in there. It is just beautiful. Alibi, you could just really take it out and smoke it out. That was like a, just a beautiful, deep, smoky eye. And I only did one eye of that, y'all, because I just knew I wanted to do this one last look. And I hope that's fine because I was like, I don't think both of my eyes will make it if I have to do one more look. But overall, this palette is fantastic. I love it. I mean, like you guys need to go and get it. This is literally like one of the best purple palettes I've ever dealt with. I am going to show you, let's see. I know people are like, well, I have the It's My Pleasure palette by ColourPop. And I love this palette too, but this is a beautiful purple palette also. And you do have like that shade Earthshine that's kind of like that shade, what was it? Um, 
alibi but yet you still have lighter shades this palette is very just powerful it's a statement the purples are great so when you look at it here's the difference because definitely like the deepest matte that you have and the um it's my pleasure palette is sleeper which is down in the corner so this palette definitely gives you a lot deeper in tones of mattes for as far as they're both nine pan palettes this one you do have one or two similarities like the shade earth shine that's in the middle and then you have the shade um uh what is it called respect at the top those are kind of similar and then um but you don't have just a uh straight up dual chrome shade like you have with legacy but like if the mattes right here or if you want burgundy purple like just these violet tone mattes like you need this palette these mattes are impeccable okay i mean like i just have not come across mattes so like although this cup this palette is very pretty i just wanted to kind of show you some comparisons um the looks with this palette are just definitely a lot deeper in tone and nature which is like awesome and what you really would expect when they're collaborating with you know power tv because that's like a you know that's like a bold television show the topics are heavy that's going on in the show you wouldn't expect some light flirty fun palette but even if this wasn't in like in collaboration with power i would be down for this palette this is a palette you just cannot deny so i mean this is great this is like 29 dollars well spent the formula is impeccable you just can't get any better um, as far as the blush duo, I love this. I'm like, this thing is beautiful. It's still on my cheeks. The blush is just a nice, warm, coppery, kind of orangey, rosy tone for me with this beautiful blush topper or highlighter. Um, both of the products smooth, gives a lot of shine, but not gritty, doesn't bring out texture. It's just, it's beautiful. Like, <laughs> and it's a great product, okay? And then the gloss. I love the gloss. It's smooth. It doesn't feel glittery for the amount of glitter that's in there. It's not caking up. I just added a little tiny bit more when I finished up this look, but in between filming, I did eat and I still had a considerable amount on when I did look three because I uh, ate after look two. <laughs> so, and I've been drinking stuff all while I've been filming. And I've been filming for probably about three hours doing all these looks, but the gloss feels still feels smooth. It doesn't feel tacky, cakey, like you know how glosses can get, especially when they have a lot of glitter in it. So overall, hands down, like they did the thing with this collection. I've just never, I, it's been a long time since I've been so pleased by a collection. And I like a lot of the stuff that I try on here, but this hands down is like, it's one of the best things I've tried all year long. Yeah, one of the best. It's it's up there. The bar is super high. So with that being said, I hope you guys like the videos. I hope you guys love the four looks. Let me know. Did you pick it up? You know, all the good stuff down below. We'll be talking in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my makeup family. So with that being said, I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye. And I'm going to do my chair dance. And it's like a super happy chair dance because mm, this palette is bomb. Yes. Bye.